My original idea wasn't to make a flashlight like this, but because it couldn't fit in here. So now this becomes sort of like a weird independent flashlight that needs some kind of casing. And basically this is the 18650 type. This is actually 17670, but it's close enough. This is 1.4 amp hour at, uh, at uh, 3.7 volt. It actually charges up to about 4.2 and I bought maybe about 10 of these 1 watt cells, 1 watt LED, so I thought I'd put one on there and uh, I also added a recharger for it or a charger and a switch and basically I have a um, about 10 ohm resistor quarter watt just to regulate the voltage uh, about 0.6 volt uh, because the battery when you charge it up it can be 4.2 volt so I have to regulate that voltage so this is what it is now and uh, it's pretty bright because it's a 1.4 amp hour and this uses about 300 to 350 ma it can last for a few hours actually on just one battery so here it is is uh, one watt is they consider that super bright LED pretty bright and I made it rechargeable with this chip here so I just uh, pull this out and slip this part now I'm connecting basically the battery to the charging board. Uh, just push this in here and get my USB cable. Actually this board is a very cheap board. It's about a dollar a piece and this connector is terrible. It can come up very very easily so I have to put my finger here to insert the LED uh, connector. Right now it still says it's charged because uh, the battery is pretty full and a lot of times the chip won't let you charge up to 4.2 sometimes it's 4.1 or so. Um, I guess it's like a safety feature because it doesn't really want you to overcharge this or, or you, you can have a problem. But uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. So all I need now is a some sort of case for it. So let's disconnect the charger and put back the connection for the flashlight. So now I have the flashlight power again. All right. And also if I want if I wanted to, I can connect a small solar panel to the charging input here. This is a micro USB, plus it has a positive and a negative. So you can add a, like a six volt solar panel, maybe about 500 MA, and you can just put it in the sun and it'll charge. And you have a pretty useful flashlight. Probably if I can just get a slightly oversized case like this, and I can put the whole thing in there, and attach it to my flashlight and I can use this uh, battery if I needed to I can take this out and put it into my Mac light here or if uh, just want some sort of like a flood light because this is not there's no reflector so it will be sort of like a like a flood light and because this is attached to a heat sink already it's pretty cool uh, it hasn't gotten hot on me. I just put a copper penny just in case to to heat sink it. I have my other uh, two watt LEDs here. It's on a heat sink, and it's at about six volt in, instead of seven point two. And yeah, it's only slightly, very slightly warm because. Uh, the input voltage and the output voltage I, I 
brought it as close as possible um, to 6.2 uh, through the LM317. So uh, nothing gets hot really, only slightly, very slightly warm. So the same thing with this. You're probably not going to be turning it on for two hours and just let it uh, run flat. Most of the time you just turn it on for a few minutes and uh, that's fine. You don't need like a special driver for it because the voltage drop is so, the voltage regul uh, you need to regulate is so small. Yep, so here it is, very, very compact, very powerful, super bright, warm white. Uh, LED, you can buy them very, very cheaply. This is supposed to be a US made one. And this is a 18650 battery holder. Uh, this is a laptop battery. And I took a switch off from somewhere. And then the board is about a buck. So for, for a few dollars, the most expensive is the battery. You can make a nice, very powerful flashlight. Alright, thanks for watching.